Hey y'all, what's going on? So it's William and today we'll talk about buses. Hey, wait, are you in the right class? Yep, so this is computer science. Uh, we're talking about bus lines actually and what they are and how they help with communication with the computers. Okay, let's, let's mosey into our first slide here. And so again, uh, buses are bus lines and it's just a way to communicate uh, between the different parts of a computer. All right, so you got all these different things in the computer, CPU, memory, uh, input, output, and somehow they have to communicate. So you're seeing data from one component uh, to another. And kind of like I said before, another word for this is just bus, okay, or, or um, you know, bus line, yeah. Okay, so let's see for our next part here. So what is exactly this uh, bus line? Well, there's something called a bus width as well. Um, and I guess you can think of a big school bus and how wide it is, a way to visualize it. But it's the number of bits that a bus line can send at one time. And um, I don't know if we talked too much about bits so far, but it's, it's a one or a zero, either uh, something is on or off. Um, you know, it might be a high voltage, low voltage. It might be uh, with the CDs, like a, a kind of indentation or no indentation. But it's, uh, you know, it's just a choice of, of one or the other, two things. Yeah. And the data in the computer just made up of lots and lots and lots and lots of bits. And so same thing with the bus. Uh, we measure uh, this, like most things, in, in bits. And um, what's a good way to, and it's just one or zero, okay? So on or off, uh, high voltage, low voltage, uh, that kind of thing. Okay, so let's see a little bit more details on the bus width here. Okay, so you can kind of think of this bus uh, width thing uh, more as the highway rather than the bus, I guess. Kind of weird, but. Okay, bus line or, uh, you know, it has a certain width to it. So think of a multi-lane highway. Um, I don't know if you've been down, say, uh, you know, L.A. or Mexico uh, City, somewhere like that where they have these huge highways. So kind of imagine something like that. And, of course, to have a larger bus width, you can more, move more data around in a computer. So if you think about the H1, if you got, you know, four lanes going, then that uh, moves a lot more cars than, say, uh, you know, the road on the North Shore where you just got a two-lane road. Okay, or say a dirt road where you only got one lane. At any rate, um, so if you think about it, if you have 64 bits, you know, that's a lot more bits moving on the, on the bus line than 32 bits, for example, okay? And then you might think, well, why are these numbers, 64 and 32, that kind of thing? So usually uh, when we have the bits, since it's a one or a zero, it's, it uses the number two. It's a, a base two numbering system. And then a lot of times we measure things in powers of two. So 32 is uh, two to the fifth power, or 64 is two to the sixth power. So two uh, multiplied six times, when I say the sixth power, or to the fifth power, so two multiplied five times. So try it out. Apply it to five times, you'll get 32, or apply it six times, you should get 64. And if not, you should check your math. Okay. At any rate, so uh, basically, the wider the bus line, or the, the bus width, uh, the wider that is, uh, the more data can be sent um, to the different components in the computer, and then the faster your computer will run. Uh, there is a limit to it, right? If, if uh, there's kind of a trade-off. If it gets too wide, then you got to start um, kind of compensating for that. So um, it's not like you're going to have some billion, uh, a width of a billion, whatever, uh, for uh, the, the bus line. And it's just too much. So always kind of a trade-off with things like that. Okay, so let's, let's mosey on to our next slide here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so... We have system and expansion buses. So we got two kinds of buses, two kinds of bus lines, I guess you could say, uh, technically. And uh, we have what's called a system bus. 
So we're going to connect the CPU to memory, and then uh, we'll also have what's called an expansion bus. And um, expansion buses connect the CPU to other components. And that's uh, kind of going back to the first one, the system buses. Um, a CPU to memory, that's real important. So, you know, I know it's just kind of words or terminology that we're throwing around, but um, you want to um, make sure that, especially your CPU and memory, have a good connection. Okay, the CPU is, is you give it one instruction at a time, or uh, depending on how they design the CPU, you might give them four instructions at a time. Some things are in parallel, but uh, basically, you're, you're sending these instructions over to the CPU, and um, where are the instructions stored? Okay, so any program that's running, any kind of app, okay, that you're using, it's going to get stored in memory, and then that's going to be kind of sent over on the bus, bus line, uh, to the CPU for to process it. Okay, so that connection is real important. Uh, it's it's also called a bottleneck because. Uh, that's one of the limitations of computers right now. So if you can figure out how to fix that bottleneck, um, you, you be real famous and make a lot of money. Uh, not that that's the uh, most important thing in life, but anyway. Okay, so uh, let's, let's talk a little bit more about the different kinds of bus lines here. Okay, so we had system buses and expansion buses, and let's talk a little bit more uh, about these expansion buses and what we can uh, we can use those for. So a lot of computers uh, have several different kinds of expansion buses. It's uh, usually good to uh, have more than one choice for these things. And so what are choices usually? Uh, usually it's the USB, the universal serial bus. Uh, we also have the Firewire buses built into the computer and then also the PCI Express bus. Ooh, I don't want to get on that bus, man. That sounds like a fun bus to get on. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's check out these uh, three different buses and what they do. Okay, so the the USB uh, uh, serial bus, universal serial bus. Let's see. So the universal serial bus uh, used to connect external devices to a computer. Okay, so y'all probably familiar with the outer you know, part of this. And um, a lot of times uh, you have inside the computer the USB bus that's connecting to the PCI bus and that's going to connect to other internal components. So they work uh, together to make sure the computer's running as fast as possible, yeah. I don't know if it runs like that, but maybe more like that, yeah. At any rate. Okay, so let's see, what's another bus that we can use? So another bus that we can use is the P, uh, Firewire bus. And the Firewire, okay, so it's, it's also specialized. And uh, you're connecting external devices to the computer. Again, you want to, you know, you might want to hook up different things to your computer with this. And uh, a lot of times, though, it's used for audio and video equipment. So it's, uh, you know, this, this particular bus is specialized in that regard. Okay, so you might... Uh, well, that's one thing I did. Like I, I uh, had uh, watching a movie on the PC, and then you plug in the, the, the to the TV. So that's that's one uh, use of that. At any rate, or if you're into music, you know that you might use that uh, to get jiggly with it or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So let's see uh, one more bus here, and then we'll we'll call it a day for y'all uh, for this section. PCI Express. Yay. Okay. Another acronym. And for these, Peripheral Component Interconnect Express. Oh, man, I think I'd rather say PCI than all those other words. Okay, so that's a high-speed computer expansion bus. Um, what's up with that? It's dedicated connection for each device. Okay, so what's so great about a dedicated connection for each device? All right, I'll tell you. Okay, so you, know, you got all these, these uh, different components of your computer. And so one solution to connect all these things is just to have one bus line and then everyone gets on the same bus line. So anyone who's been on the H1 knows what the problem with that is. If you have one highway, well, then you got more congestion, right? So they, they, this PCI Express, you know, it's, it's hardwired into a computer, but also they have um, 
dedicated our one-to-one uh, uh, -one connections for uh, uh, you know, two components. So you just have a one connection between the two. You can, uh, or the, the hardware is set up so it can work that way. So then it's, uh, you have less bits on your uh, bus line, then those bits, boom, boom, they run a lot faster. Just like if you have more cars on the H1, then things slow down. Or less cars, they speed up. Okay. At any rate, uh, so that's it today for buses. So, you know, if you go home and your housemaid or, or, or spouse or parent or whatever asks, what did you learn today in computer science? You can say buses. They'll be like, huh? Okay, we'll see you all a little later in the show. All right, aloha. <laughs>